Notre Dame is a very interesting team going into the 2024 season. Uh, I think they're kind of a wild card team in my opinion. And uh, they, they, I think they have potential to be really good. And the AP poll came out the other day and they were ranked number seven. Now I kind of want to make a video talking about what I can expect from Notre Dame and what I think how good they could be potentially. Notre Dame has went through a saga where they haven't really found like a superstar quarterback to play for them. They found Sam Hartman last year who I really liked and he's obviously playing in the NFL now and uh, I liked him a lot and then they got Riley Leonard and then even they had a guy before Ian Book who was a good college football player but you know he wasn't a superstar name or anything but Riley Leonard is a guy that is a big name to come into that program. He was so good for Duke last year. And I think the potential's there where Notre Dame could be at the, you know, a really good team and make the college football playoff, especially being independent. It'll, it'll be really interesting to see. Notre Dame's schedule is kind of easy, but hard. At the, like, there's some hard games on there, but it's nothing too crazy. I mean... They, uh, they have some cupcake games, I'm not going to lie. And I'm looking at it right now. They play Notre Dame at Texas A&M. Uh, that'll be a good week one game. Louisville they play as well. Uh, they play Florida State, Virginia, uh, USC. So, like, it's not the toughest schedule, but it is a schedule I could see them maybe dropping a few games. And uh, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if that happened, but they have to figure out Notre Dame, Penn State, and if, you know, those type of teams, they got to figure out how to make the next jump in terms of being a national championship contender. I really feel like they have struggled, like Penn State and James Franklin. They really struggled on making that jump, and it's been a big problem for them. Like, what are you going to do? And a lot of it is due to quarterback play for Penn State. I mean, Sean Clifford was not a bad quarterback, but he wasn't a guy that was going to take you to the promised land. Hopefully, Drew Rattler can develop into that guy, but it remains to be seen. But on Notre Dame, they kind of had the same thing. Like, can a quarterback get them there? Because they've always had a good defense, and they're skill position guys. I mean, they've had some good guys go to the league, but they need guys to continue to step up and uh I think they could potentially get into this college football playoff, but, you know, it's not going to be as easy because I know Notre Dame fans, they uh, feel some type of way about it because they can't automatically have an automatic bid to make the college football playoff. They have to kind of get in that wild card spot in the 12 team playoff, so it's going to be even a little bit harder for them. One thing about Marcus Freeman team, if he's the head coach or the defensive coordinator, I think he's one of the best minds on the defensive side of the ball that we have in the game. So I'm confident that Notre Dame is going to be a pretty good team defensively. Um, I'm a little concerned about wide receivers in the offensive line. Like, they did just lose. I think they lost a offensive lineman on their best ones recently. Uh, I don't know if I'm necessarily concerned because Notre Dame's always had a consistently pretty good offensive line. But it is interesting to see, like, how good will they be in in that front up there on the line of scrimmage? So, um, if they could figure that out and some receivers make some names for themselves, I think Notre Dame can have a really good year. But man, it's tough because I could see them finishing, you know, nine and three or something like that, or I could see them finishing eleven and one or ten and two. So, I expect some big things by this team, but um. I think with Riley Leonard as well is an interesting subject because when he transferred over there, I was a big fan, but I think Riley Leonard still has some developing to do in this game, especially throwing the football, and I don't know if he's as complete as what people think he is throwing the football. I think he can get there. I think he has a good future. He's going to be a good NFL quarterback. I really do believe that. His running ability is phenomenal, but I think throwing the football, he isn't fully developed what he can be and what he has the potential to be. I like his arm talent a lot, but I think Riley Leonard still has a lot of growing. I don't think 
people really considered that with Notre Dame. And I hope he takes another leap this year, which I believe that he can because he had a good year at Duke last year. He unfortunately got hurt, though. But I'm really excited to watch Riley Leonard with this team. So uh, that, that, that's a fun part of all this, like the transfer portal. And when he actually went to Notre Dame, I was kind of surprised. I know he went into the transfer portal with a like a clause to that he already know where he went basically from going from Duke. So, um, but yeah, Notre Dame ranked number seven in the AP. I thought it was kind of high. I thought they would be ranked like twelve ish, maybe like ten ish. I didn't expect them to be that high, but do for me. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.